It's time for Fiend Freddy! We're going to the snow dogs! We're doing Fan Friday inside today because it's currently raining. So we get to see adorable, snuggly, cuddly Oakley. For those of you that are new to this channel, Fan Friday is the day where we answer questions submitted by you guys, the fans. All you have to do to submit a question is leave a question in the comments below using the hashtag AskGTTSD. And we just might answer one of your questions. And for those of you that are new, this is Miss Fluffy but Oakley. This is Diva Shelby, and that is Cuddlebug Memphis. Now let's get to some questions. Before I forget, up in the cards and down in the video description below, there will be a link to the limited edition signed posters of the dogs. So if you guys want to get a signed poster, there will be a link up in the cards and down in the video description below. Oh, it's the biggest yawn ever! Let's get to some questions. So the first question of the day is actually a pretty good question. It is from Kim. Kim wants to know, when did you decide to go from having the girls wear their collars full time to only when they go outside? Is there any specific reason? Well, yeah, actually there is. We used to have, the, the dogs used to wear their collars pretty much all the time. The only time we ever took them off was when they were in their kennels when they were younger, because I didn't want them to get snagged on anything. And now the story is going to get sad. So. The reason we don't wear, let our dogs wear collars anymore while they're inside is because I had a friend of mine who had a younger dog, I believe he was six months old, had a collar on, he left for work. What are you doing, crazy puppy? He left for work and the dog got stuck with the collar and, well, sadly the collar got twisted and the dog ended up passing away. And this wasn't the first time I had heard of this happening. I had heard of since then and just before that other people who would had dogs that had their collars on and they would get like caught on the kennels and the dogs would freak out and they would injure themselves or sadly enough I do know more than one that actually choked to death because they were wearing a collar inside so because of this I no longer have the dogs wear their collars while they're inside the house now all of our dogs are microchipped. We also have a camera system in our house so we can see our dogs all the time and it alerts us to motion and things like that when they go out, we put their collars on. Um, but pretty much when they're here in the house or we're, when they're out in the backyard with us, we don't put their collars on. And it's basically for safety. Um, it's, I know it's not something that everybody will be comfortable doing, but you know, after reading far too many sad stories of dogs getting hurt and injured while wearing their collars inside, we decided it was time to change what we did and have them not wear their collars anymore. Like, look at Oakley. Oakley goes in and out of this kennel. We actually put these things on the kennel here because she was snagging on the corner of the kennel just with her feet and stuff. If she would have got a collar stuck, because like if I move this, because we leave the door open on her kennel all the time, if she would have got a collar stuck on that, she really could have got hurt. So that's pretty much why. I know it's something a lot of you have asked about in the past, so I thought it was time we finally answered that question. Let us know your opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? Should the dogs wear collars when they're in the house? Do you let your dogs wear collars while they're in the house? Do you have a reason for why you do or a reason for why you don't? Our biggest reason is safety. I just don't want them to hurt themselves. Outside of Memphis, Nellville Connie wants to know, whatever happened to the Fan Friday intros that fans used to submit that you would put in the beginning of each Fan Friday intro? Why did you stop doing that? Um, part of the reason I stopped doing it was because I was having some issues with the intros that were being sent. The second reason was because I wanted to do a new instructional video to explain to you guys how to make intros for Fan Friday so that they were um, filmed the right way. I had a lot of people that were sending the videos and they were turned, um, you know, this way. <laughs> So I kind of wanted to make like a new instructional video to let you guys know what we need for those intros. And honestly, I just haven't done it yet. But thanks to your question, maybe I'll finally get around to doing it. What are you doing? Whoa, you're falling off the couch. <laughs> what do you think? Should we bring back fan intro fan Fridays? I liked doing them. I really did. But I needed to find a better way to have you guys submit them. Maybe we will bring it back. Jace says, I noticed that Shelby keeps up really well with Memphis, who is a lot younger than her. How have you managed to keep her so energetic beside, b despite her being almost 10 years old? What do you think, Shelby? You want to answer that? 
Chubby says, I've just always been crazy. Realistically, Memphis is not as energetic as Shelby was when Shelby was Memphis's age. When Shelby was four years old, Shelby was insane, weren't you? Shelby was destructive and she just was insane. So I think Shelby just has a high energy level to start. What was that? Did you hear that? The squeaky ball? Did you hear that? Yeah, Shelby just pretty much has a high energy level to start. So I don't think it's very hard for her to keep up with Memphis. Plus, even though she's almost 10 years old, Huskies usually live 12 to 15 years. And if you keep them active and you keep them moving, they usually stay pretty active and, you know, can be pretty energetic. Unless they're Oakley. And then her favorite thing to do is nap in this kennel. What do you think, Oakley? She's like, you're still talking, and I can't sleep when you're talking. <laughs> we got another really good question this week. What is your advice on getting a husky as your first dog? For example, should you get a puppy? Should you get one from a shelter? And why? Well, again, this is going to be, this is all based on opinion. If your first dog is a husky, you're in for a lot of um, insanity because huskies are very high energy dogs. And if you've never had a dog before, you're probably going to go through a lot of ups and downs, really learning how to train the dog and how to work with the dog and things like that. Now, if you get one from a shelter, you might get lucky and you might get a dog that's a little bit older, already has some training, isn't as crazy, maybe already has some good manners. But you could also end up with one that has bad habits and bad manners and now not only are you working with the fact that you've never had a husky before but now you're working with the fact that you have a husky that's already got bad manners and not a whole lot of training so it's it's hard like i <laughs> you're the cutest thing ever i always feel like you should try to adopt but sometimes a puppy is a better route i would say being your first husky well, you might be better off not being a husky as your first puppy, but I would say probably as a puppy because I think then you're going to learn a lot more about the personality of huskies and things like that <laughs> more than if you adopt one. Bless you! Oh, she's going to get you because you're sneezing. She doesn't like sneezes. You should know that. She doesn't like sneezes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, that's a really hard question to answer. How about you guys answer it in the comments below. What do you think? If you were to get a husky as your first dog, or if you've been through this before, our first dog was a husky. The first dog that Jamie and I ever had together was a husky, and we got her as a puppy. Um, but she, her personality was way different than like Shelby. If Shelby would have been our first husky puppy, we'd have been driven insane, because Shelby was an insane puppy. So that's a hard one. And then Oakley was our rescue dog. You know, we adopted her and she was older and she was difficult too because she had a lot of quirks and habits and things that we had to work with with her. So I think no matter what, it's gonna be a lot of work and a lot of responsibility. So that's the biggest thing you're gonna have to remember. We got some mayo, we got some mayo. And Memphis is excited about it. We got some mayo from Connie from Hong Kong. She sent a couple of Toys, which apparently Memphis wants that one. Want that one? You could, you could take it. I mean, I could take the paper off of it first, but you don't usually even... Wow, Memphis took a toy. Wow. Memphis doesn't normally play with a whole lot of toys. <laughs> and Connie also sent us, look at these towels. They're so cool. Look at there's Memphis and her spirit hood. And there's Selby. Those are pretty cool. Hey, I was trying to show them to the audience. You just, you just... You just want to lay on them? All right, you just lay on them then. You do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a giant box of things from Claudia. It says, I wanted to send something for the other girls as well. I hope they enjoy their presents. Happy early birthday, Memphis, from Claudia. Memphis, look, it's your favorite thing in the world. Ready? Oh, I can't do it one-handed. <laughs> one more, one more, one more. Ready? 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 Oh, let's see what's in here. Oh, look at how cute. Okay, all right. Well, here you go. Take it. Shall we took the elephant? Took the pink elephant. Who wants this one? Oh, I bet Oakley wants this one. Oakley's like, wait, I would take, I would take that one. You got it. You got, you got it. This is like, um, will you take this paper off of it? I don't like the paper on it. Oh, here's a skunk. Who's gonna take that? <laughs> uh, oh goodness, look at this one. Skinnies, more things. Oh my. 
There's a big rabbit. Let me open this. Hold on. Oh, look in some treats. You want a treat too? All right, let me open some stuff. I made a cookie for you. A cookie for sale from Memphis because she took it. And a cookie for Selby. All right, all the cookies. Now, who wants this big giant bunny? You want that big giant bunny? She's like, I'm still eating the cookies. Hold on. <laughs> Well, apparently Shelby took the bunny. Thanks for sending all that cool stuff. I found the raccoon. It was just in a different package. There you go, Oakley. Since you love your raccoons. She's like, I do love raccoons, you guys. They're my favorite toy. <laughs> These drawings are from Haley. Haley also lives in Michigan, just like we do. We got a letter and this coloring from Brooklyn, and Brooklyn wants to know if we get tornadoes where we live. Uh, not very often, but we have had some tornado warnings around here. And do our dogs get along with other dogs? Yes, pretty much, they pretty much get along with all other dogs. Usually, very rarely do they not get along with another dog. We got a letter from Jack, and Jack wants to know if we have any suggestions on how to get more experience with training dogs. Uh, he wants to, Jack wants to get certified as a dog trainer. I would suggest maybe volunteering at your local shelters, maybe seeing if you can find a trainer in your area that will let you apprentice underneath them so you can learn some different things. And then of course, YouTube videos. YouTube videos are a great way to learn how to train animals. So there's some suggestions for you. We got a letter from Sasha, Manitou, and Marion with a couple of questions. First one was, who is Greg? Greg's just a good friend of ours. Shelby's like, Greg? I know Greg. <laughs> Greg is Shelby's favorite person. <laughs> and who is Rebecca? Rebecca is my sister. Both Greg and Rebecca help us out from time to time and watch the dogs whenever we have to leave for longer periods of time. They're, um, like I said, Greg's a really good friend of ours, and I guess we can call him our dog sitter, and Rebecca's my sister, and she's our other dog sitter. <laughs> And we got this beautiful drawing of Shiloh from Grace. All right, you guys, that's all we have for Fan Friday today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you did not do so yet, on Monday, we put up a new treat video. And on Wednesday, we put up a new adventure dog vlog video where we took the dogs to Tequamanon Falls. I had some of you messaging me telling me that you didn't get that video in your subscription box. So be sure to go check that out. Check out Monday's video for a new treat video. Coming up this Monday will be a birthday cake video for Miss Memphis because her birthday is on April the 4th. So if you guys sent something to her for her birthday, that video is going up next week. Memphis is turning four years old. All right, you guys. Also, if you want to see more of who we are and what we do, you can head on over to youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs and check out our vlog channel. All right, you guys. If you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like this video and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. Bye, guys. Let's, let's just go right here and take a nap with Oakley. Is it nap time? Totally nap time. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're taking a nap.